Hello, my friends. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this brand new series I will be doing on the channel called Trail Review, where basically I will just be reviewing the trails that I hike. I'm going to go to as many hiking trails as I can and review them mostly based off how crowded they are and how good the scenery is. Today we're going to be talking about the Ozaki Interurban Bike Trail. Like I just said, it is a bike trail, but it is also allowed for hikers and I believe skiers as well. The part of the trail I would be walking today would be from Port Washington to Belgium, Wisconsin. I picked up the trail from a local park and began walking. The first section of the trail was mostly through some neighborhoods. There were quite a few cyclists and other people walking their dogs in this area, but later we got out near the highway where there was less people and we got ready to cross under I-43, which was the highway that you cross during the trail. After a brief walk along a road that goes near the highway, we passed under the highway and got out into the country where there were less people, although there was still some, mostly due to the fact that it was a weekend and it was very nice weather. After crossing under the highway, we ended up in the small town of Nellsville, which is just north of Port Washington, and by that point we were out in the country with cornfields on all sides of us. There are not a ton of places to stop along the way, so we just ended up stopping right along the side of the road where there was a dry patch of grass. This was our first stop. We would end up stopping two more times to get food and water along the way. Out here the scenery was quite nice. The only buildings I saw were really just the occasional barn or farmhouse. This picnic table was the only picnic table I found in one of the few rest stops along the way. Keep in mind that with these longer distances, these picnic tables and benches will be further apart. Because the trail, while hikers are allowed, it is more geared towards bikers who can cover a lot more ground. Despite being nice to look at, the scenery is rather monotonous. It's just the occasional stand of trees and lots of cornfields. If you like that, it's great. If you prefer more forested areas, it's not as interesting. Nilla really doesn't care what the scenery is. There were a few farmhouses, but like I said before, not very many buildings along the way. Also, some roads to go across that were all very deserted. There were at least some short trees along most of the trail, and it was nice when you'd come across a forest in between all the cornfields. For wildlife, I saw several different types of birds and also this garter snake that was slithering across the trail in front of us. Part of the trail goes along a railroad and a road, so all three of these paths will go just right along each other. We continued onward and the weather stayed nice. Then we stopped just one more time to get a bit more food and water before finally making it to Belgium. If you don't like the idea of hiking right next to a road and railroad, keep in mind that neither of them are very busy. I saw very rarely cars on this road and never a train while hiking. There were a few road crossings during the trip, although it was not very many and none of them were particularly busy roads. Honestly, there were as many bikes passing me on the trail as there was cars on this road. The scenery did change a little as we got near Belgium. We came across this forest that had a swamp in it as well. Remember that forests like these are a great place to go bird watching and see wildlife along your way. We finished walking through the forest and a few more cornfields before we ended up in Belgium. Belgium is just a typical small town in Wisconsin, not a lot going on. We came out by these warehouses and before we knew it, we were on Main Street. Overall, I'm going to give this trail a 14 out of 20, 7 out of 10 for crowds, and 7 out of 10s for scenery. Here's why. So there were some people, quite a few actually, out on the trails and what made a lot more people come out was because it was Sunday and it was very nice out. Maybe go on a weekday and you'll have better luck with the amount of people you encounter on the trails. Personally, I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10 for scenery. Like I said before, scenery is very subjective. Some people prefer forests, some people prefer mountains. I don't mind the cornfields, I've grown up around them all my life. 
and I find it quite nice actually. So I will give this a solid 7 out of 10 for scenery. So yeah, that's the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Tell me down below what you think of the new series called Trail Review. Thank you for watching again, and I hope to see you soon.